Hello and welcome to the Ohio Division of EMS presentation on electronic certifications. In this presentation, we will review the reasons for the transition to electronic certifications, the features of the new electronic version, as well as the application process for initial certifications and renewals. There are several reasons that the Division of EMS decided to transition from printing and mailing physical cards to issuing certifications electronically. First, this new process allows us to be more fiscally responsible with taxpayer dollars because we will no longer have the need to purchase card stock, pay for printing, or incur postal fees. Second, this new format will improve access to certifications for the EMS and fire community in the state of Ohio. This includes the ability for certificate holders to more conveniently store their certificate on their phone or other mobile device. Third, instead of sending a physical certification card through the mail, delivering the certification, which includes a unique QR code via email, helps secure the individual's credential. Fourth, the inclusion of a unique QR code on each certification allows the public to validate the provider's credential by simply scanning the QR code to verify the current status of the certificate. Also, this feature will allow an employer to near instantly verify an employer's status, keeping employers and providers compliant with Ohio regulations. Lastly, another component of the electronic certification project includes the addition of an agency affiliation report. This report allows an employer to compile a list of all personnel that have listed their agency as an affiliation. The report will provide the name, certification level, status of the certificate, the effective date, and the expiration date. Also, the report can be downloaded in Excel format and further sorted as needed by the employer. From this report, the employer can plan CE courses, track employee renewal timeframes, and identify expired providers. To begin our review of the implementation of the electronic certification project, let's review the process to apply for an initial certification. When applying for a new or initial certification, the link to this page will be provided in an email that is sent to the applicant once the Educational Institution Program Director has attested that the required course and other prerequisites have been completed. Also included in the email will be the course ID as well as the password. This information can be entered at this point in these fields in the course ID field as well as the password field. Once these items are entered, login, the login button can be selected. On this screen, the applicant will enter their social security number as well as their birth date to verify their identity. Once the applicant's identity has been verified, the application process can continue. This screen provides guidance on information that may be needed in if the applicant has previous criminal charges or convictions. The applicant should carefully review all information provided on the screen before proceeding. The personal information pertaining to this section of the application should be pre-populated. However, it is important for the applicant to carefully review all information presented to ensure accuracy. If there are errors with the applicant's name, social security number, or date of birth, then the Ohio Division of EMS should be contacted so that the needed changes can be made. However, if there are changes needed with the applicant's address, phone number, or email, then the changes can be made here and the Division of EMS does not need to be contacted. If certain information is not present, then the applicant should fill in the missing information to include a secondary email if available. The address listed on the screen should only be the address of the applicant's home and should not be the address of an EMS agency or fire department. This section of the application deals with the applicant's affiliation with the United States Armed Forces. Please carefully review all options and select the most appropriate, then click Next. 
information regarding the applicant's affiliation with a fire department or EMS agency is very important to the Ohio Division of EMS. This information is used to help track workforce needs and enhance communications through employers. The applicant should select whether they are affiliated with an agency or fire department, then select the agency. If the agency is not list listed, there will be an opportunity to enter an agency name via a free form field, and then the applicant can select next. This slide illustrates how an affiliated agency is selected. So you will see here that you can enter search and add affiliation. You will then be given the opportunity to select the agency name and then select next. The applicant should review these statements carefully and answer appropriately appropriately before moving to the next screen of the application process. Before clicking the checkbox, the applicant should read the entire statement. Among other things, the applicant is attesting that all information entered, verified, or selected is true and accurate. If there is any question at all about the information provided, the applicant should select previous to review all sections of the application. Once the applicant is sure that all information is accurate, the applicant should click the box at the top of the page and select Submit Application. The application status will show either pending or needs approval. Pending indicates that the certification will become active on the effective date. The effective date will normally be at midnight on the day following the submission of the application. Once the certification is active, the electronic certification will be sent to the applicant via email and will also be available to download and print if needed. A needs approval status means that the Ohio Division of EMS needs to review the application. There are several scenarios that would result in an application going into a needs approval status. Some of these scenarios may be a different or incorrect birth date or social security number being entered, or the first and or last name being different than what was originally entered by the program director at the educational institution. We will next review the certificate renewal process. If you have renewed a cert certification in the past, you will not notice a significant change with the implementation of the electronic certifications. When logging into the renewal portal, you will be presented with a list of certifications that are available to be renewed. It is important to remember that each certificate must be renewed individually with a separate application. Click on Renew to, re to move to the next screen. This screen provides information that is very important to review before proceeding with the renewal application. All previous convictions, current pending charges, and certifi uh, certificate suspensions or revocations are required to be reported. Falsification of any application is a violation of current Ohio regulation related to certification of EMS and fire service providers and instructors. The items listed on this screen will assist the applicant with knowing what information will be asked for when completing the application. Once all information has been reviewed and the needed documentation has been located, click on Renew Now. If the applicant is unsure of the required information listed on this screen, please select Renew Later and locate the required information or contact the Ohio Division of EMS for assistance. The applicant's contact information shown on this screen will be pre-populated. The applicant should carefully review the information presented and make any needed changes or updates to ensure accuracy. Once all the information has been verified, select Next. The applicant should carefully review all information provided and then choose the option that applies to their specific situation. If none of the options apply, then none of the above should be selected as you see here. Once this page is complete, please, please click Next. 
If the applicant is affiliated with an agency, select yes and an opportunity will be provided to choose the correct agency. This process is very similar or the same as, as illustrated in the initial certification application slide. It is important that the applicant completely and accurately answer these questions. Once all questions have been answered, click next. The applicant should carefully review this statement in its entirety and only select the checkbox if they agree with the statement. Please note that falsification of any application may constitute the falsification under Ohio Revised Code 2921.13 and it is a misdemeanor of the first degree. Once the page is completed, the application can be submitted. After the application is submitted, the status can be viewed online. Please check the definitions listed below for information regarding the current status of the application. Also, the submitted application can be viewed by selecting View Application. However, the applications cannot be edited in any way once they have been submitted. You can access your new electronic certification from your account after midnight on the day following the submission of the renewal application. As we discussed earlier, the e-certification can be stored on electronic devices and can also be printed if a hard copy is needed. This section will review the process of verifying an individual's certification. Any member of the public has the ability to verify the status of an individual's certificate. Visiting the Ohio Division of EMS website at ems.ohio.gov and selecting Verify a Certificate on the home page. If the certificate number is available, please enter the information and select Search. However, if the certificate number is unknown, please enter as much information as possible and select search. With the implementation of the electronic certification project, a QR code will be an option for verifying certificates. This new form of verification will be covered later in this presentation. Once the correct certificate holder is found and selected on the previous screen, the information regarding current and past certifications is displayed. The certificate verification status screen will also show the status of pending applications. In this example, you can see that the individual has applied for an EMS instructor certification and the application is currently waiting on approval by the Ohio Division of EMS. While on the cert certification verification screen, the public can scroll down to review additional information regarding the status displayed. Now that we have discussed how to apply, renew, or verify a certification, we are excited to de debut the Ohio Electronic Certification for Fire and EMS. There are a couple of different ways that an individual will obtain a copy of their electronic certification. First, after applying for an initial certification, if approved, the applicant will receive an email that has the new certificate attached. On the screen, you can see an example of this certificate. Second, upon renewal of an existing certification, the certificate holder will receive an email that contains a link that will provide the opportunity to print or download a copy of the certificate. Let's review these options now. The certificate holder will be able to print their certificate through a link that will be available on the Ohio Division of EMS website after the electronic certifications go live on October 19th or by visiting services.dps.ohio.gov slash EMS providers. Again, that website is services.dps.ohio.gov slash EMS providers. This link is to the same portal where certificate holders can update their contact information or renew their certifications. Follow the link labeled Get Help for Assistance with Signing In. Once signed in, this screen will appear. In this presentation, we are going to focus on the Print Certification Card button you see here. Select this button to access your electronic certification. 
When print certification card is selected, the user is presented with this screen. This screen shows the most up-to-date information on active levels of certification, as well as the current certificate version number and the date and time when the current version was generated by the certification system. Also, the user has the option to select print QR download to receive a PDF version of the certificate. This will automatically be downloaded to your computer or mobile device. If there are no active certifications, the message shown here will be displayed. Follow the link provided to verify the current certification as well as past certification statuses. The first page of the certificate contains three very important pieces of information. Number one, all certifications will expire on the certificate holder's birthday. This is regardless of the date that the certificate was granted. Number two, the certificate holder is expected to meet all ethical standards of conduct outlined in the Ohio Administrative Code. And number three, per the Ohio Administrative Code, all criminal convictions are required to be reported to the Ohio Division of EMS. These convictions must be reported within 14 days of the final sentencing, and then they must provide additional documentation within 60 days of the final sentencing. The second page is the certificate itself. Displayed here, you see an example of the electronic certification. The certificate includes three different sections. Section one contains the certificate holder's name, the certification number, the date and time the certificate was generated by the system, as well as the specific version ID of the certificate. Section two lists only active certifications to include the effective date and date of expiration. If a certificate level is not listed, then it means that the level is not active. Section three includes the QR code that can be scanned with any mobile device to verify the most up-to-date certificate status. Please note that the mobile device used to scan the QR code must have an internet connection to properly pull up the status of the certificate. This is an example of what the user will see when scanning the QR code with a mobile device. Please notice that all the information displayed is the same as what is included on the electronic certification itself. However, the information provided when scanning the QR code is real time and in turn may be different than what is documented on the electronic certification that may have been printed months prior. This feature ensures that employers and or the public is able to quickly verify the most current status of all certificate levels held by the provider. When scanning the QR code, the user will also be able to print the QR scan results for documentation purposes. This screen shows an example of this page. Now it is your turn. Please access the camera on your mobile device. Position the device as if you were going to take a picture of this QR code. When positioned properly, you will see an indication on the screen of your mobile device that will allow you to access the verification screen shown in the last slide. Please feel free to pause this presentation to try this out. In the past, we have received many requests from agencies wanting a way to evaluate when certificates expire so that they can better plan refresher courses and coordinate continuing education offerings. As part of the rollout of electronic certifications, the Ohio Division of EMS is excited to provide an updated agency affiliation report that will allow agencies to review their personnel certification statuses and expiration dates. To access the report, the user will follow the same steps they currently use to access the agency module. First, the user will need to log in to Identity Manager. Once they have successfully logged in, they will select Agency Management. The user will then select Providers Affiliated to Agency. The system will automatically produce the updated affiliation report. 
This report now lists all certificate holders that have listed that specific agency as an affiliate. Next to each certificate holder's name, the user will find all active certifications with the effective date of the certification as well as the expiration date. The report will also list if the certificate holder is on an extension and when the extension will expire. In this example affiliation report, you will notice that there is an individual with a paramedic certification that has been suspended. You will also notice that the effective date and the suspension end date are listed. Please note that even though the certificate is suspended, it is still considered active and it has not been revoked or has not expired. If an individual has had their certif certification revoked or it has expired, then their name would not appear on this report. Also, if a certificate holder has not listed the agency as an affiliate, even if their certificate is valid, their name will not be listed. The user will also have the option to download the report in Excel, which they then will be able to sort by any of the data points, including expiration date. In this example, you will see that the report has been downloaded into Excel and has been sorted by expiration date. This agency can now prioritize and plan continuing education because in this example, there will be at least 12 personnel that will be expiring in November and December of 2022. Thank you for taking time to watch this presentation. If you have any questions regarding electronic certifications or any of the other topics covered here, please contact the Ohio Division of EMS by visiting our website at ems.ohio.gov and clicking on Ask EMS or by calling our toll-free number at 1-800-233-0789. Please stay safe and we look forward to serving you in the future.